I thought I would just quickly give you an overview of what's been happening um, in our lives and just, um, just let you know what happened. Um, that might sound like something bad happened, but it didn't really. Um, but I am a little bit late on filming this because last week I had um, a really bad sinus infection and like tooth infection and stuff and um I didn't sleep for like three nights it was it was really rough but it was really painful but I finally got antibiotics that my dentist um prescribed for me and I have a dentist appointment um on Friday this Friday and this is Monday so yeah it's the end of the week um and hopefully we can figure something out. I have a lot of bad teeth. I think it's kind of, it's partially a genetic thing. Um, but yeah, anyway, um, I have quite a few root canals in my mouth and some of those are like, um, either like, yeah, like the root canal itself went bad. So I'm not sure, like it's kind of a big deal, but anyway, um, so I took, I finally got my antibiotics on Wednesday last week and they didn't really kick in until Friday morning. So, yeah, um, didn't really get any sleep from, let's see, was it Thursday night? Wednesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday nights were like, yeah, I tried to sleep sitting up in bed and it was like, I just had so much pain. But with that much pain, it's hard to really work, you know, get a lot of work done. Um, and I was exhausted. Um, so then Friday morning, I slept like two hours actually after my husband went to work. Um, I think that's kind of when the pills kicked in and um, we were like, I had so many people that were praying for me and I was just like praying all night and yeah, so, um, and crying too. <laughs> I, I definitely, it, it gets you down, it's, it's, it's tough, but um, I slept for like two hours laying down and it was literally, it felt so good. Like I was like, I remember thinking that night I was sitting there, I was like, God, when am I ever going to be able to lay down and sleep again? Because it's just, you know, when something drags out for a while. I had had it for almost a week, but it hadn't been as bad as those last three nights. Um, so yeah, I am definitely feeling a lot better. I got a good night's pretty good night's sleep Saturday night and um, then last night. So I did sleep in this morning. I didn't, I thought about getting up early and getting a bunch of work done, but I was like, I still felt pretty exhausted. We were gone Saturday evening for the evening and then we were gone basically all day on Sunday, yesterday. Um, so there's only a few hours that we were home and I just feel like with being sick and being gone a lot, I was gone most of the day Friday then as well. And so I just feel like um, my house is way behind in a lot of spaces, but that's okay. We'll catch up. Um, but I did like kind of keep washing laundry, even though I didn't have like, I did some on Saturday, even though I didn't really have time to like fold it and put it away, I did wash them. So I have some laundry to fold and I'm washing our bedding today and all the rest of the laundry that I didn't get washed on Saturday. I didn't do a lot. I just, there's a few things that we needed. So um, I had washed a few, few loads. So I'm gonna be doing the rest of the laundry and I'm gonna make a list of all of the rest of the things that I need to do today. And um, now I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna make a list and bring you guys along on my Monday and we'll see how much we can get done today. And I'm gonna go get my little girl up now and get our get her day started, I guess. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, please hit the thumbs up button and yeah, leave a comment, just whatever. Like I like to know what you guys are up to. I love reading you guys' comments. They just really bless my day. And I like, yeah, replying when I can and yeah, so. Let me know what you are up to in the comments or if you have any questions for me about anything just yeah leave that in the comment section 
thank you guys for watching and I will get started. Typically, this would be good in a tortilla as well, but I, I'm just going to eat it like this.
summer nap. Did you have a good nap? So now she is eating some snacks and looking at books in her room. So I'm just sitting here with her and looking at books with her now. And then we might go on a walk soon and I need to go over a few things. Um, I need to check my list and see what all else I need to do. But yeah, that's what's up right now. Can you say hi? Say hi? Can you say hi? Can you wave? Can you wave for him? <laughs> okay, just look at your book. That's fine. She absolutely loves books. She just, she's obsessed with them. She likes, right now she's on the lift of lap ones. She really likes those, but she likes any of them really. Gotta get them all out of the basket first. It's most important. Is that the most important? although it would be enough for like a small vase I feel like but you guys these are I feel like these are really amazing um because they're only like 99 cents I believe maybe they're a dollar 98 cents I'm not sure but they're like 98 cents I think and um even if one isn't enough like two putting two together or even three, like that makes a really nice big, and that would only be like three dollars. So like, here, back here, I actually have one right there. But like, yeah, you could do groupings of them, or you could just do one by itself like I have there, and it is a really good price. So, I think it's something that is seasonal. So I definitely say if you want some, check your Walmart like right now because they might be like just like a spring item so definitely if you like greenery to put in your house fake greenery to put in your house here and there definitely check these out because they are super reasonable we came outside to check the puppies and we're just sitting out here in the yard trying to get her to crawl around but she she thinks that um She's scared of her little feet getting tickled on the grass. Your feet are so ticklish. And so she's just sitting there. <laughs> she's just sitting there looking around trying to figure out what to do. We're inside again and Kinsley is having a snack of crackers and water. <laughs> Pretty basic, right? Anyway, I'm gonna get some stuff. Um, I think I'm going to have um, shrimp alfredo for supper, and so I'm going to get some stuff ready for that. And, uh, yeah.
hop on here real quick and show you these shirts. They are from Walmart. They're just like basic, basic tees. I have a white one. That This one is blue. It's like a navy. And then this one is white. And I have this one. It's kind of a, it's like almost like sometimes it looks a little blue and then but i think it's gray like i would call it gray and then this one is like perfect for spring it's like such a nice um spring color and i just love it and these were all at walmart um they have quite a few other colors as well so you guys should definitely check it out check them out and um they're like i believe they were like four wait were they like four or something i think they were like four 79 or 4.99 but they were under five dollars for sure so yeah if you need some like basic tops that are like their necks are pretty high and they're just yeah they're they're really nice but they're not like they're not like tight high but they like they they're modest like I am really loving them so um yeah if you want some basic tees for spring that are super cute and affordable definitely go um check them out at Walmart okay we are leaving on our walk now um I'm just gonna quickly tell you guys I made iced coffee for myself and I forgot to video it so I'm gonna quickly tell you guys what's in it um this is a different recipe than I've made before. This is really simple. It's just, I just put some caramel around the glass and then I use cold brew and fill it up to about that line right there. And then I, um, or I put, first I put ice cubes in to, how did I forget that? First I put ice cubes in, then I use, fill it up with cold brew to this line and then I put half and half or heavy whipping cream in there. And don't wanna to forget to say that I also, um, sorry about the noises out here. I also like to put some sugar-free vanilla syrup, like the coffee syrups. And I really, it's the same kind I use in my other coffee recipes. And I really like that. Um, the Tarani brand is the kind I used in this. The Tarani sugar-free vanilla syrup. So you guys should give it a try. And then I used some caramel on top as well. And you can use regular caramel or sugar-free, whichever you desire. <laughs> is it fun? Is it fun? <laughs> Is it so fun? Do you love it? Kiju! Kiju! Kiju, Kiju! Kiju, Kiju! 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 Okay, so hopefully you can hear me and it's not too windy. Um, I'm outside right now. We just got back from our walk and I'm gonna clean out the Durango. So, um, yeah, Kinsley is right here in her stroller. Say hi. So hopefully she's gonna be happy there. If not, I might put her in for a little nap. Um, she had one nap today, but it was right now. Yeah, she's giving up kind of a funny time. So it's like hard to get two naps in, but she kind of needs the second one because just to tide her over till she till bedtime. Um, so I guess we'll see how she does. And I am gonna, going to clean the vehicle. So I'll show you a little bit what it looks like. It looks pretty bad in some places. But anyway, my husband's been using it for work. So that's why it looks so bad. Um, and it's a pain to clean if I know he's gonna use it for work again um, and just get it dirty again. So yeah. That's kind of the problem I have right now. Um, 
also I'm not gonna probably not gonna video all of it because I don't have the best angles and my battery is almost dead so I'll see how it goes but we all know how it is cleaning a vehicle it can take a while sometimes especially when your kid throws their bottle down and drops milk everywhere and throws snacks around and all that stuff so fun times okay so I don't know how well you can see but this I took the car seat base out and this is what it looks like it looks pretty bad and there's milk dried milk here it's so nasty I'm telling you what it, I don't know if it's ever looked this bad before usually I usually she doesn't do this bad but anyway there's a toy so yeah it's gonna take me a little while to clean I'm gonna try to do it as fast as I can because I need to start supper in about um uh, half an hour probably so I'm gonna try to work as fast as I can get as much done as I can And the front does not look any better. It looks worse, actually. Well, except that. One thing I need to start doing is keep some cardboard back here or some kind of rug or something. This is a shadow, by the way. It's not dirt. Um, but my husband takes his tools to work and in here, and it gets so dirty. But what I wanted to show you was this compartment down here. When I, if I go to town and I forget my bags, then it's perfect because I just keep a few extra in here. And there we have some peach tea, we have some tissues here. We have some fuel additive. We have our cleaning supplies and just a few things, some tools and a few things like that, that comes in really handy when you don't have everything along. Also, wow, this car was really 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 dirty but um i got it cleaned and i was so happy that i took the time to clean it and it took me closer to like it took me probably an hour instead of a half hour because it took a while to get all that milk and all that stuff off the seat in the back especially and so yeah i had to kind of scrub that and stuff but yeah i got it all clean and probably yeah probably an hour maybe just a little bit over an hour but right around there so, yeah, it was definitely worth it. So, um, I'm making the Alfredo sauce, and I thought I had white cheese, but I don't. So, I'm just using this cheddar, and, um, but I did grice it myself, so it should be better than just, like, out of a bag, um, but we'll see how it tastes. Okay, these shrimp are pre-cooked, or like they're, I bought them cooked, and they are detailed. I just got them taking the tails off and stuff. So I am just putting them in the Alfredo sauce like that, and this was really good. The main thing I would say is do not let them cook too long. I think mine were just a little bit overdone because they were just starting to get a little bit tough. Not like bad at all. Like they were still really delicious. But um, I definitely think it's something that you don't want to overcook. Also, I want to say that we really, really love this recipe and actually didn't mind it at all with the cheddar cheese instead of the the white cheese so I'd say definitely that it's not a big deal um, if you want to use cheddar or some kind of yellow cheese instead of a white cheese we really love this and I'll definitely be making it again maybe with chicken next time to see how that is but I'm sure it'll be delicious Better than nothing, right? 
and there we have a salad as well. So I'm really excited about this meal and I'll let you guys know how I like this recipe and I will leave a link in the description box. I got this recipe off of Pinterest. So if you wanna try it, go check it out in the description box. Hey guys, um, it is evening and not a time I like to be filming because it's dark and I don't have very good lighting, but that's okay. Um, I'm just coming on here real quick. I forgot to form, sorry, I forgot to film um, the ending for my video. So I just wanna say thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you all so much and Please, if you are not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the little notification bell. I would love that, and then you won't miss any future videos. Um, also, if you enjoyed this video, be sure and give it a big thumbs up. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you next week. Bye!